sales, arguably the most important part about reselling. Now, it's often said that sourcing, buying, is the most enjoyable part about reselling, and I'll admit, it is. However, if you don't have any sales, then what's the point of doing it? So, let me show you some sales. This is the last two weeks of January. My idea going forward is I'm going to do a sales video every couple of weeks, talk through the best sales of that period, a little bit about the item, what I paid for it, what it sold for, and just like tips and tricks here and there. I'm finding now I'm doing promoted listings and I'm listing consistently every day. Sales have, on the whole, been so much better than they were last year. In fact, January was my best month ever as a part-time reseller. So, without further ado, let me show you what sold in the last couple of weeks. Now, I shan't show you everything that sold, that'll make it a really, really long video. And I want to condense it. I want to condense it into manageable chunks so you can absorb the most relevant information from it. I sell mostly clothing and footwear, I admit, but there are also some toys in there as well, as well as some books and other bits and bobs. Like I said, I am a part-time reseller. I do this purely as a hobby slash side gig, so I can only afford to spend time outside of my nine to five day job. But hey, this is just advice. Don't take it as gospel. This is just my experiences selling certain items on eBay. Hopefully it's enjoyable. Hopefully you learn a few things. Let's get to it. So the first sale, vintage carry more bicycle pannier. Just the left one. Now, if you go on eBay and search for bicycle panniers, typically they come as a pair because that's kind of what you want to buy. But this one was on its own. It was a left-hand side one. Vintage one though, from the 1970s. I paid 50p for this at a car boot sale and that sold for £15 plus postage pretty quickly as well. So I will be looking out for these again. Um, I can't imagine they're going to be particularly common, but... They're out there, they sell fairly well, if you can get them for a cheap price. These are a pair of Adidas Predator 18.1 soft ground men's football boots. Bit of a mouthful. They are a UK size 11. I only paid a pound for these at the car boot sale, but they were missing their laces. So I sourced some laces that were as close as possible to the originals. Only cost me a pound. So a two pound investment. They sold for 35 pounds plus postage on an offer. They weren't in the best condition, but they were in a good, usable condition. A few scuffs at the bottom, so more of a, you know, boot to actually play football with, rather than a collector's piece. Definitely picking those up again. Definitely keep a look out. Anything Adidas Predator sells well. Rock and Republic Jeans. Not a very well-known brand, but typically have quite a good following. So this is the second pair I've sold now. Again, paid a pound at a car boot sale. These are sold for £20 plus postage. This sold way too quickly i think i underpriced it but i had no idea how to price it because there are no solds so this is a long sleeve graphic print t-shirt of the punk band the exploited 25 pounds plus postage and honestly i think it took 10 minutes to sell if that so probably could have got more on that one but i only paid 50p for it so not too worried about that and funnily enough shortly afterwards i sold this other long sleeve punk t-shirt bought from the same shop again 50p that went for £23 plus postage. Not a couple of quid off because I was, I was having a good morning. I thought, you know, I'll be generous. Get these things get these things flowing. These are some Converse uh, Chuck Taylor All-Stars, but they're, uh, they're like sort of like a, almost an insulated boot. Almost sort of like a, a chucker boot. Um, I had these up for ages. I think I had them up for £25. Nice big size. A women's size, size 8. Well, I think they were unisex. Um, they've gone for £19 plus postage. So... Will I pick them up again? Yes. Sorry, I paid £3 for those. I'll probably pick them up again. They just take ages to sell, so something to bear in mind. Next up, another pair of boots. These are a pair of Timberlands. Now, to give them their full title, these are the Timberland Women's Premium Icon 6-inch boots. Uh, they are a UK size 5, I believe. Um, again, only paid a couple of quid for these at a car boot sale, and they have gone for £22.50 plus postage on an offer. So if you sort of search Timberland Solds, they don't do as well as they used to, which is fine. Uh, larger men's sizes tend to do a bit better because there are fewer of them. And then anything like Gore-Tex, obviously it sounds a lot better. These are from the same seller as those Rock and Republic jeans I showed you a minute ago. Uh, these are a pair of Machiavelli jeans. They were weird. As you can see from this picture, they are weird. They've got weird embroidery, little embroidered um, kind of like photos of Tupac. The right Tupac Shakir, the rapper. Um, they weren't in great condition. The bottoms were completely just destroyed by wear. Um, some of the embroidery was like falling apart. Still got 16 quid plus postage though. Paid a pound. So not bad. So some jeans can still sell even if they're in battered condition. 
but typically I wouldn't pick up battered jeans because they just take ages to sell. A pair of Nike Air Max 270s, these are only a size 3, typically don't pick up size 3s unless the shoe is like just a bit different. Let's be honest, how many women out there have size 3 feet? Compared to like larger sizes, not many, so they can sit around. These didn't take too long to sell, they gone for £17 plus 50 plus both it. Sold some 7 for Mankind jeans, these are pretty standard, uh, width 32, length 32, paid £4.50 for these I believe in a charity shop. They've gone for £21 plus postage. Didn't take too long to sell, happy with that. Bought these at a cupboard sale last year. Uh, these are a pair of New Balance 1500 leather trainers made in England. They're not vintage, they're just made in England but more recently, if that makes sense. Only paid a couple of quid for them. They did need a bit of a uh, bit of help. Uh, I bought some blue or navy blue shoe polish, especially just to tidy them up. Had some really like deep marks on them, if that makes sense. I'm gonna have to like scrub them out. Managed to get them looking pretty good. Had these up for sixty quid. Um, bounced back and forward with some offers. Eventually settled on fifty three pounds plus postage. So yeah, keep an eye out for new. Like I said, new balances are. They do vary in popularity, and there are so many of them out there. Um, but I find the higher the number, typically the more desirable they are. Um, and you say 1500 is probably one of the larger numbers in the model name, so yeah, keep an eye out for those. Now, double sale don't have double sales particularly often, but uh, this person bought a vintage Hobbs patterned 100% linen A line skirt, let's give it its full title and a deal uh, quarter zip smock pullover. Paid full price for both of them. The hob skirt was uh, £20, the deal smock was £18, so combined £38. And they're actually, they live locally, so I hand delivered them. Recent pickup, this lower alpine Aleutian fleece. Picked this up a couple of weeks ago in a charity shop, paid £3, had it up for 20 Somebody offered me £17, quick sale, accepted, out the door. Bosh. Oh, I've had a Hot Wheels sale, a vintage Hot Wheels Rumbler. This is a uh, motorbike from the 1970s. I've had this listed for ages. I've battered away plenty of lowball offers from like other reseller shops, like diecast reseller shops, thinking they can have one up on me. Uh, 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 no, I know my stuff. Fortunately, <laughs> finally sold for £30 plus postage. Sad to see it go, but happy to have the money. I mentioned the Hob skirt and the Deal smock literally about a minute ago. Same buyer bought another thing from me. Weird Fish Women's Macaroni Knit Full Zip Lilac Fleece. £25. I say plus postage. Again, I hand delivered it. Literally, she lived down the road. Fantastic. So hopefully she'd buy some more things from me. <laughs> if, that's the thing. If they can save on postage, then they're more likely to, spend, to pay full price and be a repeat customer. So happy days. Another Hot Wheels sale. Nice. Now, I actually bought this to resell. This is a Hot Wheels Ferrari Enzo uh, 18th scale. So... Nice big model, sold to a person, a buyer in Sweden, I believe, went on the GSP. As far as I'm aware, all is well and good. £40 plus postage, and I paid £8 for that in the charity shop. Sold this Sunspell uh, long sleeve cotton t-shirt. Now, I've sold Sunspell before. The polo shirts do really well. Going by this sale, I, I'm going to be treading more carefully with other Sunspell products. It's a brilliant brand, don't get me wrong. But I think the desirability factor is with the polo shirts, um, any sort of like knitted jumpers. I'm finding the t-shirts and the long, the long sleeve t-shirts just don't do as well. There's not as much of a demand for them. So paid £4.50, uh, eventually sold for £21 plus posted. Just took an age to sell and didn't do as well as I thought it would. It's okay, lesson learned. G-Star Raw jeans. The G-Star Raw Arc jeans is what they are. When you hold them up, they kind of like bow in like an arc. They're the ones to look out, look out for. I paid £3 for these at a car boot sale ages ago, and they sold for £25 plus postage on an offer. The demand just isn't there for them. I don't know. These were like a, a light wash with distress look. I don't know if a darker wash will sell better, maybe without any distressing. I'll still pick them up in the future. I'll just be aware that they might sit around for a while. I don't just sell clothing, I promise you. This is a Monster High doll. This is Laguna Blue from the second wave, I believe. That's what I put in the title, so I'm assuming that's correct. £25 plus postage. And I think she was part of the big bundle I got um, at a car boot sale last year. So she cost me the equivalent of a pound. So £1 into £25 plus postage. Excellent. 
The trick with her is she came with a couple of her accessories and she's only missing a couple of bits. I think her earrings and maybe a necklace. As with all Monster High dolls, the more accessories, the more bits of clothing and, and paraphernalia that comes with them, the better the price realised. Uh, these were a pair of Adidas Originals. These are called the Titans. Doesn't actually say Titan on the side, that's just what they're called. But they're a driving shoe. Now I paid £8 for these in a charity shop in Totnes down the road. Um, not expecting much, but they just they just looked different. I thought I'd take a punt on them. They are sold for £35 plus postage. One of these things where I probably could have priced them at any sort of level and they probably would have sold eventually. I just wanted to see how well they do. Size 8 weren't in the best condition. The bottoms were fine. The upper suede were a little bit kind of blotchy and a little bit stained. So could have done a lot better if they were a bigger size and better condition. But yeah, 8 into 35 nothing to be sniffed at. But it's all about a Rohan. So this is a women's Rohan uh, micro grid stowaway fleece. Lovely condition, paid £4.50 for this. That sold for £25 plus postage. Same day, I believe as well, same day, size large. Had everything going for it. So it just shows, women's Rohan can sell as well as men's Rohan. You've just got to get the right items. But these micro grid stowaways, really good sellers. These are some JTS Kevlar lined motorcycle jeans. Look like regular jeans, but you can put armour in the knees, and I think the hip as well. Uh, again, paid a pound for this. Same seller that I got those Rock and Republic jeans from, and those Machiavelli two-pack ones. So paid a pound. They've gone for £30 plus postage on offer. I think I had them up for 35 So yeah, JTS, well worth looking out for. This is an all-in-man boxier um, ankle brace. Kind of like a, you know, if you sprain your ankle, it helps you with like movement and stuff. Paid £1.50 in a charity shop. That sold for £25 plus postage pretty quickly as well so keep an eye out for your medical stuff it can sell really well so some more new balance these are new balance 572 all-terrain women's trail shoes uh, i pay two pounds of these i believe at a car boot sale they've gone for 25 pounds plus postage uh do love selling band t-shirts this is no exception so this is a him scandinavian uh, rock band this is a tour t-shirt from 2006 so a good bit of age to it i paid i want to say three pounds for this or three pound fifty in a charity shop that's gone for £30 plus postage, only a size medium, but in fantastic condition. Um, did take a while to sell, but I know with some of these band t-shirts, it does. you just got to bide your time and you'll get a good price. Sold another Monster High doll. This is uh, Alyssa Bat from the Frights Camera Action series. She didn't come with many accessories. She came with a hairbrush and I included a stand. I think she had all her clothing, uh, but I don't think she had all of her like, ex like jewellery accessories. But she's gone for £30 plus postage on the GSP over to America. These are a pair of vintage, I think, although now I'm, th I'm doubting myself that they are. So a pair of older, let's say, Oakley brown leather and suede trainers. I paid £10 for these. No, I didn't. How much did I pay for these? I think I paid £9 for these in a local charity shop. Uh, they have taken a while to sell and they took, and they've taken about four months to sell. Um, except an offer, £70 plus postage. Cannot complain about that at all. Bit of Umbro, Umbro sweatshirt, fairly basic, just big logo across the chest, navy blue colour, size large, paid £4 in a charity shop. That's gone for £18 plus postage. Here's something different. I sold a spray deck. So you know if you're kayaking and you don't want to get too wet, you put the spray deck over where you sit so it keeps the water out. So this is a spray deck by a brand called Nookie. Never heard of it, but apparently it's quite good in the kayaking world. I would have paid the equivalent of £4 for this. And that's gone for £25 plus postage. Took an offer. Got that for 30 Happy days. Uh, these are from a recent video. Well, I say recent. Maybe a few videos ago. These are a pair of Kickers brown moccasins. So leather moccasins. Kind of like a uh, chunky deck shoe. Paid £8 for these. And they've gone for £37 plus postage. Our Legacy is a fantastic brand if you can find it. However, it doesn't do as well as I thought it would. So I bought this for £3.50. In fact, I think it's one of the titles of one of my earlier videos. I can't remember what it was called, but it, I was very proud about finding this. For £3.50 or something like that in a charity shop. Um, I think I had it up for 80 quid for the longest time. And I just gradually bought the price down. It's finally sold for £45 plus postage. So it's just a linen cotton blend, uh, long sleeve polo shirt. Looking at comps, this is typically what they go for. So... The lofty heights of 70, 80 pounds that was previously suggested by other resellers. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. It's just my experience. So some Supergar. So these are the Supergar uh, 2754 
uh, classic. These are more like a mid-top trainer. It's not the traditional like low-top supercars you see. These are brand new with tag, uh, but minus the box. I think I paid six pounds for these in a charity shop, and these have gone for thirty pounds plus postage. Again, I think I had them up for thirty-five, and they've taken an eternity to sell. The profit was there, but they just took ages. Sold this Dungeons and Dragons game. Um, I bought this one again from a car boot sale last year. A couple of quid, I think it was. Missing some pieces, missing the middle metal figurines it should come with, but I believe everything else was in there. And that's gone for £17.50 plus postage. Trackmaster! Souls and Trackmaster! Well, Thomas. So this is Thomas. It comes with Annie and Clara about the carriages. I paid uh, the equivalent of maybe a pound for this. Sold for £10 plus postage on offer. Had it for 13 A little bit cheeky. £10 plus postage seems to be the going rate. So that's fine. Two more things. Oh, Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. The enigma. In the in my reselling world is Ralph Lauren. It's just, it's so bizarre how not well it does. So I bought this thinking this is going to be an absolute banger. It's a double XL size rugby shirt. Short sleeved, admittedly. Got lovely embroidery to the front, lovely embroidery to the rear, nice little standout colours. I think I've paid a fiver for this. I think it would do like 30 plus. No, no, £20 plus postage after being badgered by somebody on offer. So I've eventually gave in after a couple of months. <laughs> no, it was about a month, about a month of badgering, I finally gave in. But looking at comps, seems to be about the going rate, even for the really fancy ones that have the. the uh, the country embroidered across the front. Yeah, 2025 is about the going rate. The long sleeve ones do a lot better. I find a Ralph Lauren, the more sort of the more fancy and the more outlandish the design is, the better they do. Because everything else is so saturated, there's just a massive like supply of it. So I'm taking that I'm bearing that in mind going forward. And finally, let's let's finish the video off with, with a good sale. So this is a Paramo Parameter S. A uh, long sleeve reversible shirt. I picked up three of these in a charity shop. Amazing. Uh, paid four pounds for this. That's gone for fifty pounds plus postage, and that sold within a day. So super happy. Super happy. If the other two can realise those prices too, amazing. I say I've I've sold. I've done really well recently. I tell you what it is. Promoted listings have really helped my shop. Um, I've literally promoted everything at five percent, which is quite a bit. Which is quite a bit, you know. That's a, you know, eBay's getting a lot more money from me. But when I'm doing searches for stuff, a lot of the time my stuff will be at the very top. I'm thinking, oh, good. As long as I can make my photographs good, and make it look as good as it can be, and with a good description and stuff, then hopefully, and obviously an attractive price, and hopefully people will perhaps purchase my items rather than someone else's. So, yeah, promoted listing certainly works. You know, it's it's done wonders over the last couple of weeks. This is just my experience. Literally everyone is different. That's the marvellous thing about this. Everyone does things slightly differently. Certain things people seem to do really well with, other things people don't. And you just got to work out, work out a nice balance. You got to work out what sells for you, what makes you happy, you know, what are you happy selling, and just go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.